So this is a KZ2 car. It's got a six-speed sequential gearbox. You can just change straight through without using the clutch. Just a little lift on the throttle, kind of like a motorbike. There is a clutch on the other side here. So that operates the clutch, which we only use from the standing start. Once we've done a start and we're away, we don't touch the clutch. It's a go-kart, it doesn't have any springs or shocks. All that work is done by the flex of the chassis. To get the chassis to do what you want it to do, to handle how you want it to handle, you can change things like a torsion bar, all the steering geometry here, this is all adjustable. So you can adjust the camber of the wheels, you can adjust the caster, which is the angle that, that this whole kingpin setup sits at. You can change the width of the wheel, you can adjust these tie rods so that the wheel might have tow out or tow in. That's just a few things that you can do to the front of the cart to change the handling and get the optimal setup. One of the biggest challenges throughout a weekend of racing is getting the cart set up to the optimum level. The track can change and then you've got to change it all. The temperature on the day can change. There's so many factors that go into getting it right. The guys that are leading on the day, they're all amazing drivers, but the ones that get the edge on that particular day have just managed to get the setup right in the sweet spot. You've got the rear tyre. The whole tyre moves with the pressure that's on it. Again, it helps the cart to, to do the job of the suspension. The tyre's flexing, it's hot obviously. The axle itself will bend significantly as you go through the corner. So those things can all be adjusted to change the grip level of the cart, how it responds from the, the entry into the corner when you're braking, the mid corner when it's really under a, a lateral load, and then the exit of the corner where you're putting the power down and you're trying to make the thing grip so that it will drive off the corner. Uh, you can also change things like seat stays. See this bump is loose, that's, that's purposely loose so that the, the cart can flex. If you tighten it up, it'll completely change the way the cart handles. So this chassis, uh, you can lift the whole axle up or down. So you put the axle down, that will then lift the whole rest of the cart up. So if you lift the cart up at the rear, your centre of gravity is higher, which means the weight transfer will be greater. So it will load up the tyre more. So it will make it grip more. That's not necessarily a good thing. Often with go-karts, because we've got such sticky tyres, you actually want to sometimes have less grip. Too much grip can bog the cart down into the corner. It sticks onto the track too much, and you can't accelerate away off the corner as well. Tyre pressures are a huge thing with, with any race car, and the same with a go-kart. So the difference between, say, Hamilton and Auckland, the track surface is way different. It looks the same. Auckland has apparently a bit more concrete in the track surface and so the, the grip levels are different. We might run a, a different tyre pressure. So again, if you put too much tyre pressure in, you'll be fast at the beginning of the race, but then the tyre will overheat and you might be slower and the thing might go off towards the end of the race because the tyre gets too hot, the rubber gets too mushy, and then it won't grip because the rubber's just smushing around on top of the tyre. So there's Lots of things like that to consider, which are not just the track surface, but the conditions of the day. So today it's quite overcast. Yesterday it was sunny and really hot, so we have to run the tyre pressures differently. This is the dash we use. Currently it's showing the water temperature. So there's a probe in here. You can also have a probe in the exhaust pipe, which part of warming up the cart is getting the water temperature up to the right level. And on the radiator, will often have a, a blind, which means you can pull it up to get the temperature up and then drop it back down when you've got it to the right level. It's a lap timer as well. So as you go over the finish line, it flashes up your current lap time. You can also download all the data out of it and analyze it all. So it will tell you every point on the track, what your speed is, your RPM, temperatures of water and exhaust gas, so that you can then analyze against your own previous data or your teammates' data to see where you're faster or slower. It gives you an idea of where you need to either adjust the cart or adjust your driving, or both. So that's a KZ2 cart. If you're interested and you want to know more, you can go to gokartsport.nz.